Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you how to create a simple algorithm that calculates the factorial of a number. So I'm betting that you already have some basic Java knowledge and that you already know some concepts. So here I've created a new project and then created a new class as classes are sort of the instructions of objects in Java. I named this class Factorial1. Every Java program must have at least one class and that class must contain a static main method. The name of the class is followed by the body of the class, which is enclosed in brackets. The body of the class is sometimes called a block of code, as something enclosed in brackets, in generally, is called a block. The class body contains declarations of instance variables and instance methods, and these instance variables contain a state of an object. I've already talked about basic Java input and output in my previous video. Here I have initialized my first variable. I've called it factorial. Okay, now I could have called it also x or y or z. But I've chosen to call it factorial because I recommend you naming your variables. Not only in Java but in coding in general. In the most suggestive way possible, so that it is easier for you to read and understand the code. If you want to calculate the factorial of a number, the easiest way to do so is by looping. There are three types of loops, the while loop, the do while loop and the for loop. In this example I'll use the for loop as it has the fewest lines of code. Very important is that the for loop consists of three segments. The initialization, the termination, and the iteration. Initialization means declaring and initializing the loop control variable e. Termination is some sort of checking condition, and iteration means incrementing the loop control variable. So, shortly explained, as long as the condition is true, the program repeats itself. To remember is that in Java, the assignment operation is evaluated from right to left and not from left to right. So when I write here factorial equals factorial times e, what I mean by that is that the new factorial has a completely different value from the old factorial. Now we quickly turn the input box on and then our program is ready to be tested. Yeah, so as you can see, it works. So how exactly does Java do all these calculations? For the value of 3, Java simply checks if 1 is less than or equal to 3, then if 2 is less than or equal to 3, and if 3 is less 
than or equal to 3, which is true. After this, Java checks if 4 is less than or equal to 4, which is false, and then Java stops the loop. In the cases in which the condition was true, e grew by 1, because plus plus e is basically the same as e plus 1. And with this logic, you get 3 factorial is 1 times 2 times 3, and that's 6. Just to make sure that the program works properly, I've tested it for even higher numbers. And yeah, the results are correct. So this was a very quick and very short video on teaching you how to calculate the factorial of a number in Java. I'll go more in depth with different aspects of Java in future videos. Thanks for watching. And if you think this video has helped you, don't forget to share and to subscribe. Peace.